Hello everyone! Welcome to Turning Point of Tampa's YouTube channel. Before we dive into today's important topic, if you find our content helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Your engagement truly helps us spread awareness. Now, let's get started. Welcome to Turning Point of Tampa's informational segment. Today, we're diving deep into the intricacies of Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC. With the rapid expansion of the cannabis industry, many are drawn to these compounds, often without full knowledge of the associated risks. Firstly, what are Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC? Both are cannabinoids, active components found in cannabis plants. However, their chemical makeup differs slightly, leading to distinct effects on the human body. It's a misconception that their close relation means they're equally safe. This is far from the truth. In places like Florida, the legalization of these compounds might give an impression of safety. However, legislation doesn't always equate to safety. The complex web of cannabis laws shifts and evolves, often leaving users in a gray area of understanding. What's permissible by law may not be beneficial or safe for your health. Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC have a reputation, especially among younger populations, for their mind-altering effects. Increased sensations of euphoria can mask the underlying risks, which include heightened anxiety, paranoia, and an undeniable potential for misuse. Over time, the repercussions can escalate, leading to dependency, addiction, and a host of associated health challenges. Turning our attention to Delta-8 THC, its synthesis from CBD, another cannabinoid, has raised substantial concerns. The process often uses conditions and chemicals that are potentially hazardous. Consuming products without understanding their manufacturing can expose users to unintended risks. For instance, harmful chemicals, heavy metals, and pesticides might reside in poorly produced Delta-8 THC products. It's an alarming aspect many consumers overlook. While Delta-9 THC is often touted for its potential medical applications, like pain relief or anti-nausea effects, self-medication without proper guidance can be a dangerous venture. The long-term effects, potential for misuse, and associated emotional and physical tolls should never be underestimated. Each individual responds differently, and what works as a remedy for one might be detrimental for another. It's worth noting that there's no universally safe method of consuming these compounds. Every approach, whether edibles, tinctures, smoking, or vaping, carries its unique risks. The delivery method can impact how the body reacts, the onset of effects, and the duration of the high. In conclusion, at Turning Point of Tampa, our mission is to enlighten and safeguard our community. While the allure of Delta-8 and Delta-9 THD might be tempting, it's essential to prioritize well-informed decisions over fleeting experiences. If you or someone you love finds themselves struggling with the use or over-reliance on these or similar substances, don't suffer in silence. Turning Point of Tampa is here, committed to ensuring your health and well-being remain at the forefront. Thank you for joining us in today's segment. We hope you found the information valuable. If you did, remember to give us a thumbs up. It helps more people find this crucial information. Please leave your thoughts, questions, or experiences in the comments below. We truly appreciate your feedback and engagement. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and click the notification bell so you never miss an update from Turning Point of Tampa. Stay informed and stay safe.